I'm standing on the unmarked grave of a guy named Marion Ira Stout. And uh, Marion Ira Stout, it was in uh, 1857, had a very strange relationship with his sister, a much too close relationship with his sister. And, yeah, yeah. And uh, his sister at the time was married to an attorney named Charles Little. Uh, Charles Little was 25, and Marion Ira Stout and his sister were in their 20s. And uh, uh, Marion Ira Stout's sister, Sarah, uh, told him one night that, that she would not be unhappy if, uh, if something happened to Charles Little. So they, they, came up, they hatched a plan to uh, murder her husband. And uh, uh, in, in 1857, uh, shortly after this, uh, Marion Ira Stout read about a man who had been crossing the Andrew Street Bridge, and, and they were repairing the bridge, and uh, he tripped and fell through a hole in the bridge and, and was rushed, into the, rushed over the falls and killed. So he got the idea that, yeah, that would be a great way for Charles Littles to uh, meet his maker. So uh, he walked him over the Andrew Street Bridge. It didn't work out. He couldn't, he couldn't get him near the hole. So uh, they had to come up with another plan. So uh, uh, he told Charles Littles was, uh, people were, they were all slimy characters. Charles Littles, Littles was an attorney who, who, uh, who mostly uh, uh, litigated insurance claims, mostly fraudulent insurance claims. And uh, uh, Mary and I were stout. Had, uh, he had served time in jail for forgery. His father was a forger. And uh, uh, so they were, they were, these were not solid citizens in the first place. So, so Mary and I were stout and his sister uh, told Charles Littles, well, Mary and I were stout told Charles Littles that his sister was going to meet a man up at the High Falls one night in uh, um, December. And uh, so, so he and his sister got up to the falls ahead of him. And when Charles Littles came, came up to the High Falls, Mary and I were stout, came out from behind a bush, hit him over the head with a hammer, and knocked his body over the High Falls. Uh, these, these were not the most efficient killers in the world. <laughs> they, uh, Mary, uh, they, Charles Little's body fell on a ledge about 30 feet forward. And, uh, uh, so so they, 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 had, they felt like they had to do something. So, so they, Mary and I were stout, got, took a little, a little path that went down this ledge. And uh, about halfway down, he lost his footing and he fell down onto the same ledge that Charles Little's was on. And he broke his arm. And uh, so he called up to his sister to help him. His sister dropped the, uh, a scarf that she was wearing. Uh, Mary and Aristotle's glasses had fallen over the falls, so they were at the bottom of the falls. And uh, so his sister got down there, and, uh, and, and they, were, they were both injured. She broke her wrist in the process, and so but in the process they they dumped Charles Little's body down over the over the rest of the falls. And that they they, they they got themselves up off the fall off this ledge and, and, and got away, leaving Mary and Aristotle's glasses. And his sister's collar and, and, and a perfume bottle or something that, that she left as well. The next morning, uh, some, some young boys found the body at the base of the falls, called the cops, and it didn't take Sherlock Holmes to figure out what had happened. They uh, went out and scooped up Mary and Iris Stout and his entire family his mother, his sister, his brother, and, uh, uh, and another, another sister in law. They put them all in jail. And uh, within a few days, they, they convened the grand jury. And they uh, they indicted Marion Iris Stout and his sister for murder. He was uh, he was he was tried for murder. His trial took ten days, and uh, the jury was only out for fifteen minutes, and came back with a with a a, a guilty verdict. Uh, they uh, the judge sentenced him to hang, and uh, uh, shortly thereafter, Marion Iris Stout was a was a con man. He he had been a con man all his life, and and people at, the, at that time this is 1858. Uh, people could start walking out of the jail. You know, you could you could say, yes, I'm here to visit so and so, and they'd let you into the jail to visit them. You didn't have to be a relative or anything. Reporters were going in. All kinds of people were going to the jail and talking to Mary and other stuff. And uh, there were articles being written about him. And he came across it. He was smooth. Convinced a lot of people that he was sort of a, a victim of uh, bad parenting and things like that. And uh, uh, so they, uh, a lot of people went to bat for him, including including. Susan B. Anthony and Frederick Douglass, who mm -hmm. petitioned the governor to get his sentence commuted to life. Uh, the governor wasn't hearing it. They, uh, uh, in fact, they, uh, they, they, they got up a meeting at City Hall to, to organize this effort to get his sentence commuted, and an ugly mob grew up around the hall and put a stop to it. They, people in Rochester felt very strongly that this guy should, uh, should go to the gallows. 
And in 1859, he did. After after several uh, stays of execution, uh, he was uh, hung in the, in the county jail downtown by Sheriff Alexander Babcock. And, uh, until until about 1890, it was the local sheriff's job to do the execution, and uh, he was hung. Uh, once again, not the most efficient hanging in the world either. He, uh, his, his neck didn't break. It took 10 minutes for him to uh, 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 strangle. Uh, uh, but uh, he was uh, he was put directly in a casket and brought right out here to Mount Hope Cemetery and buried in this plot that his mother bought for $5. In amongst, in amongst the movers and shakers in town. In, in amongst the Sibleys and Watson and uh, right next to the police chief. <laughs> okay. The sister, the sister, actually, actually, a little uh, uh, gender bias goes a long way in, in 1859. His sister got seven years at Sing Sing Prison and was released. And she, did, and it turns out she didn't even serve her entire sentence. She served, I think, three years and was paroled. So and she was every bit a part of it as, as he was. <laughs>